Durban Geothermal presents Horizontal Loop Field Installed with Chain Trencher. We're going to talk a little bit about Horizontal Loop Field. Now this one we're installing with a chain trencher, but first and foremost you should know it's never a good idea to try to put a horizontal loop into an area that it does not fit. The more ground contact the loop pipes have, the better they'll work. In turn, the more ground area between the loops, the more heat they can exchange with the ground. Loop pipes too close together can heat up the ground or run the ground out of available heat depending on the season and the load. Slinky loops can save installation money and area, but they create the largest footprint of all loop fields. Here we're using a chain trencher because it takes up the smallest area of loop fields. A chain trencher is the most common method of installing a horizontal loop field in our service area. A trench is cut 8 to 10 inches wide and about 6 feet deep. One half of a U-bend loop is placed in the bottom of the trench and then two feet of dirt is then backfilled into the trench so that the other half of the U-bend can be placed into the trench at four feet deep. Tracer wire is then installed in the trenches and the rest of the backfill is completed. Now although a trencher is a relatively small machine, please remember to allow enough space beside the trenches for the machine to push the dirt back in from both sides of the trench. In other words, we trench down the center of the machine, but when we're backfilling, we drive the machine on both sides of the trench to push the dirt back in. Also allow enough room at the end of the field to turn the machine around. The recommended distance between chain trenches is 8 to 10 feet. Now this is a recommended minimum. And like I said, the more spread out they are, the better off th that they can do for you. Now chain trenchers prefer long, straight, parallel runs. They do best on flatter ground, but they can work up and down hills as long as it's not so steep that what you excavate up will be eroded away by water, rain, and whatnot. But they are very top-heavy machines, and they should never be operated across a hill. Trenches cut into slanted ground are more likely to collapse as gravity pulls straight down on the unsupported dirt. This method of loop installation should also not be recommended in pasture ground or where children play or other places where tripping and uneven dirt settling can be an issue of concern. It also should not be used when water, electric, a pipeline, something of that nature, a fence, must be crossed multiple times. Now here you can see he's already dug the header pipe out and now he's trenching in, in basically a fan shape or a peacock shape. He's got the first one in and we're coming up on our three minute mark so we'll save more for another day.